Before you watch this video, make sure you're listening in stereo through either your studio monitor speakers or in headphones. Otherwise, you'll likely miss out on the important concepts I'll be talking about. Now, the process of mixing audio has three fundamental elements. There's level, pan, and EQ, or equalization. And while there are many ways to describe how to mix using all three elements, I like to use the concept of mixing in three dimensions. Let's look at each of those dimensions. First, you have level, which is also the most basic element. That's how close a track is to you. Increasing the level brings the track closer, while decreasing the level pushes the track away. Next is pan, which is short for panorama. We human beings listen to our world in stereo, which means we have two ears, one on the left side and one on the right. Our brain interprets each side separately, so panning a track out of the center and into either the left channel or into the right channel can help the listener perceive the track more easily, especially when there's a lot of tracks fighting for that all-important space in the middle. And finally, there's EQ. An equalizer is a tonal control for low, middle or mid-range, and high frequency ranges. Think of it as a frequency-based level control, and it's what you use to change the elevation of a track. Adding low frequencies tends to move the sound towards the floor. Adding mid-range frequencies shifts the focus to the center height. And adding high frequencies tends to lift the sound higher. So when you understand each element, it makes it much easier to find room for each track in your mix. And in this course, I'm going to show you how to use all three elements to make a great sounding mix. So that's mixing in three dimensions. Next, let's talk about the buffer size. 